All right, guys, today I'm just going to briefly show you the kit that you can pick up from Napa, part number 91002. It's called a through flow water pump kit. What this is, it's a flush tool to flush out your cooling system. How it works is this. We'll open it up. We'll take a look at some of the adapters and pieces that it comes with. Okay, this is probably one of the more common pieces that we would use. And then this is the second one we would use. These couplers actually attach into the end of the hose here. So whether you're working with three quarter or five eighths, you hook it up into here. You can attach your uh, air compressor hose up to the bottom here. It's got a regulator so you can regulate the amount of air pressure that's going through it. And then of course, right here, you're gonna have a spot where you tie it into your hose, your garden hose. And then from there, you have an extension hose. So if you really needed to get a little bit further or deeper into some weird spots, you can put it, the extension hose onto the end and then use your adapters for the other end of it. So once you have this hooked up to air and you have it hooked up to your water, you basically are applying pressurized water throughout the system to push out all the rust, nasty water, chunks of uh, old debris and whatever else. Maybe you have some sludging from cast metal sand and stuff like that. This is probably the better way to flush your system. Now the dealership does have a flush kit. Doesn't I've seen that flush kit in action and it does not offer the same amount of pressurized air that this does. That one's more just like it has coolant flowing through one end and coolant getting sucked in, recovered through the other end. Not a lot of pressure behind it, but it does exchange the fluid. So we'll just call a fluid exchanger because that's pretty much all that it is. This is an actual flush gun and you can pick it up from Napa. I don't recall how much it costs, but I'm sure you can find out by going to your local Napa and asking them about kit number 91002. All right, so let's talk about what kind of vehicle that you would want to use this kit on. So this kit, this True Flow cooling system pressurized water kit that you would hook up to a garden hose and flush all the debris out of your car. This is going to be for vehicles that are either older or have been let's just say not very well maintained. Ones that have extreme amounts of rust, ones that have possible clogging within the system, be it uh, rust buildup or metallurgy or even that uh, casting sand that gets built up within the system. Those are the vehicles that you're gonna wanna use this specific flush kit for. And of course, once you actually do flush it out with water, you can pour the coolant back into the system and that little bit of water that's still within the cooling system isn't gonna affect the cooling properties as much as you would think. All right, so let's talk about some situations where you would wanna have either the dealership flush your system with their flush machine, or if you're already a tech, why you would end up using the flush machine from the dealership versus using a pressurized kit like this, versus the one that you can pick up from Napa. So typically with those vehicles, they're the ones that are actually pretty well maintained for the most part, and they're having their service work done during the recommended interval cycle based on mileage or months. Those systems aren't gonna have a lot of rust, debris, or metallurgy buildup, or uh, casting sand. Some cars will have casting sand, especially some of the newer ones. But this style of flush will actually exchange the fluid. It's a fluid exchanger, right? It's gonna exchange the old fluid for two gallons of new fluid, because the dealership's pretty good about giving you a couple of gallons of coolant to put within the system. So overall, I guess if your vehicle is well maintained, you might wanna have the dealership flush your vehicle during the interval cycles. If it's not well maintained or it's really old or it's got a lot of crust and nasty stuff in it, you're gonna to wanna to use a machine like this. The only thing that would have made this video that much better is if I would have actually used it. Now I didn't have time to actually go through the whole entire process and show you because my time is money and of course I'm working at a shop so it's not like I have time to set it aside and do it for you. I could tell you that there's more than one way to actually perform this style of flush. One of those would be to undo the lower radiator hose, undo the top radiator hose, secure the radiator cap, and force all the garbage to the bottom, or maybe you take the radiator cap off and force fluid in so it pushes it out the bottom and through the top, trying to get as much muck out as you possibly can. You then wanna probably take both heater core hoses off, flush out the heater core, you then might wanna actually flush the other direction so that way it flows out and comes out the, uh, the water pump area. Like I said, there, there's different ways that you can do it, but you can flush out each different component depending on which one is actually clogged. This kit's pretty universal. It'll fit most hose sizes, anything from three quarters to five eighths to the big dog stuff. So don't be afraid to check it out. 
if it's something that you're interested in seeing. That's all I got for this video, guys. Thanks as always for watching. We'll see you guys next time. Cheers and deuces.